Hey, it's Joel, and this is the Splunky Daily Challenge for October 20th, 2013. And music tonight will be The One Ups, another album, Intergalactic Redo, I think it's called. So, video game music for video games. Should be appropriate. Uh, tonight, the Red Sox won the American League. So they'll be going to the World Series, which isn't as special as it used to be, but it's still pretty special. I actually wasn't following them at all this season, so as a matter of, I guess, respect, I uh, did not just start following them since they made it into the postseason. So I've been getting all of my information via various local friends getting excited on Twitter. It's actually pretty nice. It's the best part of baseball without all the waiting bits. And frankly, for the bigger moments, I don't really need Twitter. Um, Valentino hit a grand slam tonight, which put us up on top, and I heard that all around my apartment immediately. like send some shouts out to Nick Brecken who somehow managed to get to uh, Olmec on his 19th daily run which is awesome because I don't know if he'd even ever gotten to the temple before so getting to the temple on your first try is uh, pretty fucking incredible. Uh, dark stage. I knew the honeymoon had to end eventually but there was pretty good stretch of daily challenges where I didn't run into any dark stages, and that's by far my preference, since I really hate them. I mean, it's nice getting the money from the golden bugs, but they just take so long, and you're so likely to just lose hit points to, like, a spider that you don't see above you. Uh, okay, let's use this bat to maybe catch that bug? Nope. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. Come with me, pug. Alright, we're doing this. Springy shoes. Alright, I'll take it. Alright, let's go buy a big bag of bombs, or a box of bombs. Get some money here. Some more money. Yeah, just made my bomb box back. Okay, so while I hate dark stages on principle, this particular instance of a dark stage has worked out pretty well. I wonder if I might actually go up there and get that compass. I, mean, I have enough money where it wouldn't be a terrible idea. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Oh, that wasn't smart. It's fine. Huh. Alright, that's kind of funny. Oh, that's not funny, though. That's not a laughing matter. Oh, boy. Alright, let's get back on the, uh, playing well wagon here. Okay, maybe we can... Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna have to go up here. Oh man, blocking my shots. All right, that should take care of them. Yeah.
Yeah, I don't pay for kisses. Not in my nature. Oh, an actual Spelunky news. Uh, my friend Darius had put up a... Alright, let's take a step back. Uh, my friend Darius a while ago had made a port of the original... Oh, great. Glad I spent that money on that compass. A uh, port of the original PC version of Spelunky that ran in HTML5. Uh, he put it up on the Chrome App Store, I think. Since the original game was made in GameMaker, if I recall correctly, and they, a little bit later in the life cycle of that, Tool put out a, uh, an actual like export to HTML5 that generally just worked. Um, so he did that. And then today he released what he called the first in a series of like uh, dissecting the Splunky system itself, which breaks down the level generator and then maps out the critical path for any given randomly generated level. Uh, it's really, really cool. I don't have any good way to give you a link to it by talking at you, except that is at his site at tinysubversions.com slash Gen with a capital G. Oh, jetpack, we're doing that. But yeah, it's really cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next. Uh, not sure what his plan is as far as where to go from there, but breaking down, visualizing, and explaining the map generation is uh, is pretty cool. I'm not sure if Derek and company changed that at all for the uh, the HD release. Uh, can't deal with that frog without pissing off the shopkeeper slash pug pimp. So we're just gonna move on. But I mean, I can't really think of any reason that uh, Derek would have changed the map generation from the original unless he'd seen something particularly broken about it, because it seemed to work pretty well, and with the same principles as I see in play, there we go, as the current version. Man. So clearly I missed wherever the uh, weird special eye power-up thing is in the mines, but it's fine. So no black market, which is probably actually doing myself a favor. Like, I either spend the money on an Ankh and then have no money left to buy anything that's there, or it like tempts me into trying to rob the shopkeepers, which I'm still not skilled enough to uh, succeed at most of the time. Right down there, pretty close to the exit. Convenient. I want some of that money though. Sweet, sweet gems. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Oh no, you don't, monkey. Oh, that one did. There we go. Oh god, wow, that takes a special kind of something. To take fall damage when you have the jetpack is... Yeah, makes you feel real good about yourself. sacrifice. Oh my god! Yeah, well, that's what I get. Alright, well, fine. That's how it goes sometimes. This time, apparently, is one of those times. You know, I actually just beat the game for the first time yesterday, too. Uh, not through hell, but yeah, so really thought like I was going to do better than that, but I didn't. 
Ah, interesting. Nick Brecken, same level. Got more dollars though, son. All right, good night. Dun, dun, dun.